Hi class, welcome back. I'm Dr. April Strom, and in this particular video, what we're gonna look at is an introduction to U-substitution, which is an integration technique that we are going to leverage quite a bit, okay? So before we actually get to some examples, I wanna lay out the notation that will help drive how we tackle uh, the integration um, problems moving forward. So I wanna draw your attention way back to calculus one days, the chain rule. So just as a reminder, the chain rule says, if you have a composition of functions, such as f of g of x, like we do here, and you wish to take the derivative of that composition of functions, well, what we're gonna end up with in terms of the derivative is the derivative of that outside function f, keeping the inside function the same, g of x, then being multiplied by the derivative of that inside function, so g prime of x. Okay, so nothing new there in terms of the chain rule, but I need to draw your attention to that because U substitution will allow us to undo that derivative work that we just did with the chain rule. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna basically take this equation that I have up here, the chain rule, and let's find the antiderivative of it. Well, in order to do that, we want to find the antiderivative of both sides of this equation that I have here. So I'm literally going to find the integral, aka antiderivative, of the composition function f of g of x. And of course, that was um, a derivative that was here. So we have to be mindful of that, that we're integrating this whole piece over here that includes the derivative that happened. And we're doing so with respect to x. So we need our dx notation here. And just like always, whatever I do to one side of the equation, I should also do to the other side of the equation. So we are going to find the integral of this f prime of g of x multiplied by g prime of x and also still having the dx notation. Again, this reminds us of what you're taking the integral with respect to. And since we have inputs here of x's, we're gonna be talking about integrating relative to x. Okay, if you notice here on the left-hand side, when you integrate something that was initially having a derivative of, what falls out for us simply is that composition function. So on the left side, what this simplifies down to is simply g of, sorry, f of g of x, okay? All right, now just as a reminder, finding the antiderivative of a derivative is a process that undoes itself, much in the same way that like a square root would undo a squaring of something, or subtracting would undo an addition. So an integral undoes a derivative. So that's why I get just f of g of x here on the left side. On the right side though, I get exactly what you see here. I have the integral of f prime of g of x times g prime of x dx. We just keep that as is. We can't right now do anything with this, uh, this notation. But basically what this is gonna, this sets us up for to see in my future examples in the next videos is that we're gonna be given integrands. This whole piece right here, just as a reminder, this whole piece right here is called the integrand. And we're gonna be given integrands that are set up in such a way that we can do this technique that we're gonna call U substitution. And the integrand will be set up in the way where I have somebody's derivative, g of x is derivative, that g of x as a function sits as an inside function, as an input into another function's uh, derivative. And so what's gonna happen in the future videos is we're gonna be able to see an integrand set up much in this way and be able to use a technique called U substitution. So in my next video, what we're gonna see is we're gonna move to an example um, and actually several examples in the videos after that, where we will unfold what the U substitution process is. So I hope you have enjoyed this particular video. And if you would please click on the Advantage logo to subscribe to all our videos. Thanks.